Well, we made it. We're gonna have to talk about it. 100,000 subscribe, subscribe. Tears? Oh. I need some. It's been a long journey, people. All right, anyways, for, for real, we did. We passed 100,000 subscribers yesterday, so I want to do a quick video. I'm going to try to film this, edit it, and get it out there, and our little skit didn't work too good. But anyways, I'm grabbing, I'm going old school. One fishing pole, one bag, Let's fire up the old Chevy and head to the creek. Let's see if this thing will run. I'm sure this little creek right here never thought it would get this famous. <laughs> this little area right here, you might like how I'll probably recognize this area. Uh, I've done a lot of videos from here and this is a spot that really started my channel off. Uh, when I m first moved here uh, seven years ago, I lived in an apartment like half a mile away and I'd come over here, I'd sit on this bank and I'd catch just fish after fish and then I kind of led me to explore more and more and more and I just, you know, I, I caught so many different fish out here and it was another reason I was like, I want to show these on video, just all the different fish you can catch out of this creek. Well, here I am again today. I'm going to try to catch some more fish out of this creek. Haven't been here in a while. It's cloudy. Uh, the water looks really clear. And um, it's a great time to get some fishing in. So uh, I got a, a couple lures, and I got a, a lure that I really want to try out today. So hopefully we'll get some fish on it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boom. That's another reason I got into it was this fish right here. Cause it was a, a species that I had no idea what it was when I caught them. I'm like, what are these bass? I could not figure it out. Come to find out they're red eye. Um, I call them Kusa bass just to clarify a little bit but they don't get very big but they live they're so fun to catch and they're so aggressive but yeah just catch a little fish like this just to show people what else is in there a lot of people never heard of them either all right there was a few fish in that hole right there oh something sitting right there. oh i got i got it i got another one yeah, red breast. You know, just catching little fish. It just doesn't take much to catch these things. I mean, I went. Uh, I, I put. I changed the line. I put six pound line back on this one. It's a medium light rod, six pound line. I got one thirty second ounce jig head, little pile diver, but just a little lure that. I, you know, I don't have to catch that far, but I can flip the thing out there twenty five feet and just see what bites it. Oh, actually a little deep hole, but I've been up this way in a while. Sometimes I forget to go back to some of the places I'd, I've, you know, I've probably fished this spot 50 times. A lot of it before I was recording, like uh, for videos, and then a lot of it, some during videos or for videos that either didn't turn out and then probably a dozen that are in videos and then I forget to go back to them sometimes to see how it's doing oh fish on I was getting hit by something what is this uh yep kusa bass this one's got some prettier colors on it they can have a variety of patterns and a lot of these are mixed with other species too that looks like a more of a pure kusa bass really cool color pattern 
All right, this is the big crick hopper or officially known as the big hopper. Oh, okay. It's um, a quarter ounce, inch and, a, inch and three quarter inches long, size 10 hooks. A little bit bigger hooks, a little bit bigger weight, a little bit bigger body. Oh, I'm getting a few hits, but this thing is big. Oh, is that a bass? Eat it, eat it. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. There's one that didn't hesitate. Oh, there's a couple other chase ones. Oh, I got two or three bass like hitting at this thing. I'm trying to see if another one gets hooked. Oh, there's a few bass down there. I mean, they're little, but it's pretty cool. They act like big ones. They're all following up the one that got caught. Uh, hey, those Kusa bass are not afraid of attacking anything. All right, the big hopper. Got a good hit from that. This little hole's got a bunch of little bass in it. I don't know if I can get any more to hit. They're really calm in here. I don't know. Hit it, hit it. Oh, <laughs> I had a hit on it from a red breast. Boom! <laughs> I watched that one come up and hit it. He was zeroed in on it. Oh, that's a nice one. Dude, that's a big old mouth on that guy. That's a good Cusa bass. Yeah, that's a one of the one that's a, one of the biggest mouth ones I've seen. Oh, dude, hit it again. Oh, oh, I missed one and another one came and got it. Dude, this place is loaded. Oh, this place is loaded with bass today. I guess all the time, but those were a largemouth. That guy came out and hit it. And then they're not huge. They're like 10, 10, 11, 12 inches right in front of me. Oh, oh, dude, something, got it. Something hammered it and came off. I don't know if it's the same one or not. That was like an aggressive hit. Then I got this Kusa bass. The Kusa bass are really, whenever they're hitting it, they're committing a little harder than the largemouth that are in here. They usually are a little more aggressive anyways. These big hooks are definitely easier to get out than those little bitty hooks. All right, we're putting the big hopper away for right now because um, I'm, I was only going to fish a little bit. And I'm going to go back up through there with a different lure that I've really started to trust. It's a Jinru Long John Minnow 3 inch. I mean, a 3 inch swim bait is such a good size, plus these thin ones like this. A lot of fish can get hooked. I got a little bit bigger hook than I probably should have, but it's only a 1 16th ounce. So let's see if we can get a bass to one of those bass that we saw, get them to hit as we go back up. Oh my goodness. I watched that fish come eat it. Oh, that was a good bass. That was like a 12, 13 inch bass. Oh my, it was a perfect cast. Right on the edge of that brush, this bass comes out and just nibbles it. Ah, a few little ones. Man, I don't know if he'll hit again. There he is, eat it. Got him, got him. Oh no. How did I do that? How did I, I should have set the hook better and stayed with it. As soon as I let off, let off pressure, it came off. That rock, weeds. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Get in here, get in here. Yes. I've, I've noticed over the years from fishing here that they can be fish hiding and they like hanging, they like, they'll hide in these weeds in a foot of water. 
but if you get a cast there they'll come out and get it sometimes something they want and uh i may have to go back with like a little weedless i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this again because they're this guy's fat look how fat that little guy is and um had a couple like come back with something weedless and like draw drag it through this grass and there might be a uh, you know some one pounders or something in there that's a chunky little large mouth uh, let's see if i can get one out of this hole this hole up here had a bunch oh wow i don't even know where that guy came from i just came out and hammered it all right, the largemouth wanted a little bit bigger meal, I think. That's a couple largemouth and yeah, a little 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 one there. But he he had no problem getting that thing in his mouth. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. Yes. Check that out. That's probably bigger than the one I lost back there where that hit twice. That is like 11 inch thick largemouth. Came out, I threw it up in between those grass and he was probably hanging out right on the edge of that grass. Just came out and hammered it. Dude, these guys are really thickening up, getting ready for winter coming up. That's cool. That's a good catch. Oh, another one. Dude, they like this thing. All the largemouth. All largemouth are hitting the minnow. All the uh, kusa bass are hitting the crick hopper. Man, I was gonna stop. I gotta hit one more place. They're hitting way too good. All right, so I've only been out for 45 minutes. I was gonna end there, but I, they were biting way too good in just that little stretch. So uh, I'm gonna come over here to another stretch I hadn't been to, just a little bit down, like a mile down the road. Uh, we'll hit it real fast, hopefully before it starts raining, because it looks really cloudy, but it should be perfect for fishing. And uh, yeah, there's no, there's not hardly anybody on the greenway today because it's probably gonna rain, so perfect time to get in here and fish. There's one. I knew I'd hook something in here. This feels like a good fish too. Had like a million hits, I said it felt like. Oh, wow, that's a pretty one. And he is beefing up, that's for sure. All right, well this little hike down to this little spot was worth it. Thought I'd get a several here but uh missed two right over there and then had a couple hits and then hooked into a decent one there well that's gonna end it out an hour of fishing run by zaxby's pretty good afternoon caught more fish than i thought i would catch sometimes you just have to keep going back to these places to keep exploring and you just don't you don't know what's gonna happen that's why even this place right here i've been to probably 50 times. I was surprised how many fish came out of there today. They were just ready to bite. Didn't, uh, nothing, you know, obviously no giants, but just good little fun creek bass. So yeah, 100,000 subscribers, we did it. And when I say we, I mean you and me. You are the biggest part, or bigger, actually, you're the one that subscribed. I can only subscribe one time. And uh, you're the one that subscribed to these channels and have been able to drive it up to get 100,000. This week is my two year anniversary of when I quit my job. So I had around 24, 25,000 quit my job doing HVAC, um, what I did for like 14 years and gave YouTube a try, see how, see how it would go. And now I'm at hundred thousand subscribers, been two years. Hopefully it keeps on going. I'm having fun. Obviously it's uh, very enjoyable. Now it's not for everybody I would say, cause it, it's a little tough cause um, you have to, you know you're you're your own boss but you also can work at your own pace and do everything you have to be self-motivated to be able to do it and i'm i'm motivated enough to go out and make these videos and do that but i get lazy obviously um like most people and stuff like that so it's, it's been a fun ride 
I can't thank you so much, and I just, I definitely can't take credit. I'd love to say that, um, yeah, I did this, I made it, you know, this far. I can't take any credit. The Lord definitely blessed me, and everybody that's watching is the people that um, were contributing to it. All I did was try to put out the videos, and and I, and I even only put out videos that I wanted to do. I wasn't trying to do videos for people or for you. I'm just putting out videos that I want to put out and that one I want to make. And people have uh, started, some people like them. So that's what's awesome. I plan to keep doing that. I'm going to keep making videos the way I want to make them. Um, if I do transition, so I've been doing this for five years now, total of making these videos. So I'm going to change things. Things are going to change. I'm going to find new lures that I latch onto, new rod and reels, new types of fishing like kayaking and stuff like that. or maybe even boat fishing or, or who knows what, but I, I don't think I'll ever get away totally from fishing creeks um, like I did today. I just, it's just too much fun. I, I really enjoy that. It's real simple, uh, fun, enjoyable, and I, I like to encourage other people to get out there and try that. And it doesn't take much, you know, rod and reel and just go out and pitch around some lures and do explore. Try out different things, try out different lines, try out different lures, try out different areas at different times of the year. And it's always changing. You can fish the same place over and over again. It's always going to be different. Um, around here, where I live in East Tennessee, there's so many different places to fish. And I still want to go all over the country and fish as many different places as I can. And, you know, explore, learn, do as best as I can with it. But, um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it out there. Um, I tried to make this video in one day, which I never do. I usually wait a week or more later before I put the video out. But I, I, it's, it's really important that I got it to me that I got that 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, it's a really big deal. I don't know. It's still kind of weird to think. I, every time I see it now, I've only seen it for two days, yesterday and today. Whenever I see it, I'm like, that's, just, that's, that's too many people. That's a lot. Um, and I, I hope it keeps on growing. At, um, if it doesn't or whatever happens, I'll be fine. So thanks so much. I appreciate all the support that everybody gives me and encouragement and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up because it's in about 30 minutes, I gotta go drive and meet another guy. We're supposed to go out floating um, on his uh, little pontoon boat. So we're gonna try that out. So I'm always doing something and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.